Hello, this is Dean Fees with another Witch 3 video. This time I'm continuing with the theme of a Deathmatch walkthrough, but this one's about making money in the early game. <laughs> now, one of the things that people often ask on Reddit and also on my YouTube videos is how I have so much money when I'm playing on the game, or how to make money in general. You can see here that I'm buying the Temerian armor, I've gone back to White Orchard, and although I've just bought that and it costs about a thousand crowns, I still have two thousand crowns left over after that. So the way that I do this is be by being quite conservative but also having a couple of ground rules and interesting things to look out for to make money in the early game. Now one of the most important things is that if you're playing the game in order you normally go to Velen first but there are lots of good things to do in Novigrad before you can uh, carry on the story in Velen. If you go to this area just outside of Novigrad there are lots of honeycombs that you can loot for free and uh, there's a couple in the field just over from there as well and honeycombs can be sold to alchemists for pretty good profit. They also spend about half an hour to an hour and a half depending on how bothered you, how bothered you can be and how bored you get wandering around Novigrad. Now it's best to go around at night when there are less guards and you can loot things to your heart's content. You get lots of things like hard alcohol which is useful for meditating and re replenishing your stock but you also see things here like I get the Divana runestone and alchemy paste and alchemist powders and there's a lot of things that you can sell. You also end up getting a lot of alchemist and dwarven spirit so much so that you can sell some of those later. Now one of the earliest places that I will go to is this Novigrad square here in the middle of Novigrad. Now it's very convenient because it has a lot of very interesting merchants and other people um, that you can do a lot of good stuff with to make money. First of all is Vimy Vivaldi the banker and as well as getting the Vesemir card from him in Gwent you can also take a loan from him. Now as I mentioned in one of my other videos you can take this loan for 100 crowns and at the start of the game 100 crowns is quite a lot. It's about a tenth as much as the Temerian armor so you're one tenth of the way there with that. And you can pay it back for 130 crowns and there's no interest for it being longer or anything like that. And 130 crowns later in the game will be absolutely nothing. One of the other things you can do is you can pick up Orens and Florins which are different types of currency. You can't do anything with them in White Orchard but normally you would get to Novigrad later in the game but if you come into here straight away with the without the intention of doing any quests you can just come and speak to Vimy Vivaldi and it doesn't matter what your level is you can just swap them now as you see when you have a look here I get 650 crowns and again that's the bulk of buying the Temerian armor set or bulk of buying whatever else you want the uh, armourers in uh, Oxenfurt and this armour here on Novigrad Square are the ones who sell things for the best prices. So if you want to sell things to them, uh, they will give you the best prices for them. You sell armourers to uh, armour to the armourers and non-sword weapons like axes and clubs. And there's a blacksmith uh, in Oxenfurt and a blacksmith just south of this square in Novigrad, and they give the best prices early in the game for uh, sword weapons. So you can sell your swords to them. A lot of the things that you want to get, like leather, um, you can get by dismantling items and dismantling your junk and things like that. And it's cheaper to dismantle junk than it is to dismantle the weapons or armour. So you're better off selling the armour uh, to make more of a profit on that. And then dismantling junk and you should end up with, uh, if you're dismantling things like candelabra and all random junk like that, you'll get iron ingots and steel ingots and things like that. And then you can sell the weapons because you get very slightly more for the weapons and armor. There are loads of people um, in this Novigrad Square who are useful and you can sell a different type of thing to each of them and make your money. So you get lots of random junk here. Anytime you've uh, looked at these maps that will start a Witcher quest as long as you've read any maps or start or read any books you will have the information in the form of either the quest having started or the books being kept in your journal so that you can read the content whenever you want and that will have started the mission if there is a mission associated with them. So once you've read the books they're actually a source of income as well. So things like Gnomish Pranks, uh, the book and there are ones about Redania and Temeria and various other books, She Who Knows, which has some background about one of the missions. Once you've read them and you've got the information you can sell these books and there is this merchant here who is just near the armourer and there is also Marcus and he uh, is a bookshop owner just off on the square as well. So when you've read all these you can see here I'm just going to check that I've read everything and it has, the, uh, has it in green telling you that you've read it and then when you've done that you can sell all of these books and they make excess income as well. Some they're only a couple of crowns but you don't need them for anything else and so you might as well sell them and some of them can actually be quite a lot and so if you're selling those you can make a decent amount of profit. So as you can see here we've already got the um, 650 crowns from Vime and we're just selling these books and we're already up to about 2200. 
Um, so you can all, always get quite a lot of crowns and it should be quite comfortable to be able to buy the DLC armor and also to go to Skelliger if you want to go to Skelliger. If you watch my Skelliger early video where it shows you how to get to Skelliger as early as level 4 depending on how you want to do it, even on Deathmatch, um, you can also get the 1000 crowns back by looting the captain's body so you don't have to worry about that. So when you've sold all these you can sell um, any, any other things like if you have spare hides and things like that. One of the other people you watch out for is this alcohol merchant here, I'll come to him in just a minute. And there's also uh, two herbalists in Novigrad, so there's one on this square and uh, there's another on the um, circular pathway on the lower part of Novigrad. So going from uh, Dandelion Stash there's a circular road there and on the top half of that there's an alchemist store that you can find and that's where the second alchemist is. Now they'll sell things like, uh, they'll buy things like food for a reasonable price but the thing about alchemists is they will have uh, buy a few things for more uh, crowns from you than other people will. So honeycomb can be used as a source of food but it's like one of the lower healing sources of food but to alchemists they'll buy them for four each so if you've looted that place that I showed you on the map right at the start of the video you've got some extra ones there you also meditate using hard alcohol and the order of the hard alcohol that it will take to restock your potions and bombs is Alkahest, then Dwarven Spirit and then after that is the in the hierarchy is Temerian Rye and Nilfgaardian Lemon. Now you normally end up with so much Alkahest and Dwarven Spirit especially if you're looting in Novigrad that you can sell the Nilfgaardian Lemon as well as some of the honeycombs like you see here and you can get money that way. So you can sell some of the Temerian Rye and Nilfgaardian Lemon and even if you're quite conservative and keep a few like I do you can still make a pretty decent amount of money that way. One of the important things, and I'll show you this when I come to the alcohol vendor in just a moment, uh, is that there are two types of items called alchemist powder and alchemist paste. Now what these are for is for crafting the high level potions. So we'll come back to those in just a minute because you can sell excess of those. That's Marcus, the bookstore owner, and again you can sell books to him. There's a mini quest there that will get you a tiny bit of um, experience and some crowns and then you can actually sell the books that you've just stolen from his store back to him for more money so that's good as well. Innkeepers are also a good source of income so any hides that you don't want to be dismantling I normally do a balance of dismantling hides and selling them so I sell about half and dismantle half and if you've got extra food you can see if the, give, the vendors give a good price by comparing what they give for items like Everloose and if they're giving sort of 10 crowns per Everloose that wine at the top left they're normally a decent person to sell to and you can sell excess food and hides and things like that. Uh, the Cunny of the Goose, the Seven Cats Inn and Olivier there all give pretty good prices. If you go to Skelliger the Skelliger uh, innkeepers give even better prices because normally they're later in the game. So if you have some hides when you go to Skelliger and you do that early, they're a pretty good place to sell to as well. Now this is the merchant who is uh, sort of an alcohol merchant, almost a wine merchant, uh, on Novigrad Square. Now he has things like cherry cordial and mandrake cordial which you use to make white gull for higher level things, but that's not something we concern ourselves with early in the game. As you can see, even though I'm still a fairly early level here, I've already got lots of stuff from looting and you will, especially whatever, regardless of level, if you spend time looting in Novigrad you will end up with tons of Dwarven Spirit, more than you could ever use. Now you need one for each decoction but you can end up with like hundreds, I've already got 200 plus here. So you, again you can sell to this guy and he buys the Nilfgaardian Lemon and Temerian Rye for high prices and he also gives uh, 7 for per Dwarven Spirit which is quite a lot. Now as I was saying before there is Alchemy Paste and Alchemist Powder. Now Alchemist Powder you only need 7 of in the entire game as far as I can count and that is one each for making the, the superior bombs and Alchemy Paste you can use for making master arm, uh, master repair kits but I don't use those I just use the journeyman ones because they do 40% repair and that's more than enough and you get lots of those for free in the game so you never really need alchemist paste so you can sell alchemist paste and alchemy powder one of the other things is with those repair kits you'll pick up quite a lot and you can use those instead of repairing an armor um, early on you can repair with the armor and pay them um, because it doesn't cost very much but the higher level you get the more it costs to repair so start using the repair kits after you're about level 10 you should have a good amount built up and you can just use the repair kits there so this is the blacksmith and he is in a slightly different square just south of the main Novigrad square and he's the person that you want to sell a lot of your weapons when you've been raiding bandit camps and things and you get lots of swords you can just sell most of them to most of them to him and that'll make you a good little profit as well and then run around the corner and sell all the armors to the armorers uh, the armor who's on Novigrad square so if you're selling these even though they don't add up to very much um, 
individually when you're selling them all you can get quite a lot now if you dismantle the swords you can get things like iron ingots but you should get plenty of those from dismantling your random junk like chains and candelabra and things like that so it's better to um, dismantle the junk because that costs less to dismantle and then sell the swords uh, if there's a sword that's valuable then you can just um, maybe smell, sell that or dismantle it as you can see there I just sold a lesser triglav runestone as well they sell for 102 and they're a good source of income you get lots of those you can always spare sell a couple of spares you also want to sell any um, saddles and extra things you get there um, to either the armorer or the blacksmith as well because they give the best prices for them so with crafting there are some things you always want to dismantle like shells you always want to dismantle into pearls because pearls are worth a lot more and you can sell those again to any blacksmiths as you can see here i've got a lot of uh, skins from killing animals and random looting and i tend to dismantle about half of those and then sell about half of them you can always keep five of each skin just so that you have them there in case you ever really need them or you've uh, miscalculated and then you can always take them out of your stash if you keep five of each and then you can dismantle them in order to make stuff. If you're really really struggling for money early in the game you can watch my video that I will link in the description where there is a hearts of stone glitch where you can just um, farm pig skins or you can go to the cow farms in uh, hearts of stone as well find those on the map kill a load of cows and get hides from them um, but if you follow these basic tips I think that you'll find that you have more than enough money to be able to do that and you should be plenty set up for the rest of the game as you can see like I had about 3,000 crowns before we'd even got to um, buying the Temerian armor and you should carry on making money like this when you end up upgrading your armor I use the Viper uh, Serpentine Swords from White Orchard and put a Divana Runestone in each and I use those pretty much right up until um, you get the Griffin Swords at level 11 so here I've just crafted the Griffin Swords and what you can do is after you've crafted those um, is you can dismantle the Viper Silver Sword and the Viper Steel Sword and get the Divana Runestone back and then you can put the Divana Runestones back into your Griffin sets so I hope you find that useful uh, it is quite easy to make money in the game when you're following that especially with selling the Alchemist Powder and Alchemy Paste so I hope this can be used in conjunction with my Deathmatch Guide I hope you found it useful thank you for watching bye bye